Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I've got a bit of a leather repair here to do on my uh, Range Rover. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Not something that I normally do. But uh, I thought I'd bring you along for the ride and see if we can get this sorted out. This is all dry and cracked. And uh, I've bought a leather repair kit from the Scratch Doctor, I think it's called. And it's a full leather repair kit. It's got step by step instructions. And uh, I should go along with that and see how I get on with it. Uh, but as you can see, this has been like this for quite some time. It's gone in a couple of places. This is the worst part. It's cracked and split. Uh, the back of the seat is also the same. Not as bad, but it's got one nasty crack in it. And the passenger seat has a small crack in it as well, something similar to this. So today, I'm going to try and repair this. And see if I can get a reasonable finish. If so, then I'll do the rest of it. Hopefully I'll have enough stuff in this kit to do the job. I've also got some... It came with the tinter for the, the right colour. So I've got to mix a little bit of that up comes with white and the dark grey and then you mix it to to get what you need so we're following the instructions we'll see how we get on and the first thing that's in the kit is like a material that goes un inside the crack I'm hoping this is going to be big enough might have to do it in two parts it's not very much of it that looks like it might do it yeah I might just have enough that's all that was in it needs a little bit more really the first thing that it says to do is to trim up the curly edges so I shall do that tidy them up a bit So they lay flat. Uh, I shall do that. Yeah, let's just trim that off there with the scissors. There's the curly edges. There's another curly edge there. Let's trim that off. need to put this underneath the repair and see what we've got here it looks like it'll fit there so I'll have that much left so when we fit this underneath the repair as neatly as we can and overlap it on either side something like that it's not quite big enough and try and get it as smooth as possible get all the wrinkles out I might as well try and get this one in as well looks like it might do the job and do both at the same time that seems to have got it. Now then, what we have here is some leather glue that comes in the kit. So, it's supposed to. Now it's got a little brush with it. Excellent. Let's stir that up a bit. And now, I have to put some glue in here. This is a big repair. I'm 
Okay, so once that's in place, it says on there to warm the area for five minutes with a heat gun. So I shall do that. nice and warm. I shall uh, glue this other piece down. Just press this down like this and warm it up. It's still a bit tacky so I shall leave that. Meantime this here is open. I shall just glue that down as well. It's got a split in it but the material behind is in one piece. So I shall just put some glue in there. I should think that's got it. And that's nice and warm. I'll let that cure for five or six minutes. Right, now that's had a little while to go off. It says in the instructions now to flat where the cracks are with some, um, some I've got some 600 here they recommend 1200 but this is a bit on the rough side so I'm going to start with the 600 I have managed to put a little bit of foam inside here so that's filled it up a bit because what I'm doing now is preparing for the filler because there is a leather filler right, and I'll go over it with some 1200 and then we'll have to get rid of the dust like I said I'm no expert at this, I've never done this before so it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens when it's finished whether it looks okay or not And that seems to be sitting a little bit on the proud side there. I think it'll be okay. It's starting to feel a bit smoother. Ready for the filler. Now it's time to get rid of the dust. Uh, just hitting this with the compressor now just to get rid of the dust and uh, get it ready for the filler and uh, any minute now we should have there you go there's my leather filler from the scratch doctor bought an extra tub of that uh, just to make sure that i had enough because uh, what was in the supplied in the kit was a very small a small amount and this is a rather large repair I also supply a little spatula here, so I'll just use what's left on the lid and uh, just put some thin coats of the filler in the cracks, fill it up, it probably need at least three coats, maybe four, it is very deep, so let's see how we go, and after each coat it needs to be left for approximately 20 minutes before you put the next coat on for it to cure it is quite cold here today so what we're going to do i'll probably warm it slightly with the with the heat gun and uh, hopefully it'll go off within the 20 minutes and i can put more on and we'll see what happens no, I'm just going to start filling the other cracks as well now, the other the other cracked repair and uh, put some more filler in the little cracks as well and uh, I'm going to try and keep it fairly flush so I don't want to have to rub loads and loads because once this is dry it has to be flatted back there's a bit of a glare there on that particular spot and, uh, I'm just 
and spread it into all the little cracks now and uh, once that's done and uh, I'll have to wait and put the next coat in. Right, I'm on uh, quote coat number two now and uh, getting into all the little cracks and crevices there. We'll be covering the, most of the whole of the base of the seat here. And, uh, put the second coat on the, the major cracks and uh, smooth them out as best I can. And uh, yeah, it's just applicating with, the, with a little stick, rubbing it in and then scraping it back off so it stays in the cracks and uh, that's all I'm doing here I'll uh, bring you back when I've uh, done the final coat it'll probably take another three coats because it's looking fairly deep there you go we're on uh, coat number three now covering more and more of the seat and uh, it's starting to be worked into all the little nooks and crannies. Uh, it's starting to look a bit better as well. And uh, it's making a mess. It does make a bit of a mess. But uh, hopefully when it's all uh, coloured it'll, it'll look really nice. Okay, I've been over it now about four times. And uh, now it's time to start sanding. Uh, I'm going to start again with some 600. Uh, just to get the rough edges off and uh, to get it back to what's somewhere close to smooth. Once it's somewhere close, I'll move up to the 1200 grit and uh, then it'll be almost ready for uh, refinishing. Uh, I'm not going to get 100% repair out of this, I don't think, because it was such a massive repair. It is uh, looking a little better, and it's going to be better than sitting on a cracked and split open seat. And uh, this shouldn't take very long. Uh, I will cut to through to uh, flatting with the 1200 and make this as sharp as is possible because rubbing down leather is rubbing down leather. Well, that's what it looks like after about 10-15 minutes of rubbing down. I'm now on the 1200 stage. It's starting to feel a bit smoother. And uh, all the cracks that were at the front there have um, feel quite nice and smooth. There is a little bit of uh, um, an anomaly on the seam. So I couldn't quit quite get the seam right. Tried rubbing and shaping it a little bit but uh, there's one difficulty that I don't think I'm going to be over, able to overcome. I think there will be a, a slight deviation in the seam and uh, I'm fairly happy with it up to now. Let's see how we get on in the later stage. The colouring will be the fun bit and uh, we'll see how we get on there. I'll uh, cut short here and uh, move on. Right, I've used a damp cloth over the top of it and now I've got some uh, leather prep. So it smells a little bit like uh, paint thinners, probably is. I'm uh, just going to wipe that over with some leather prep. Anywhere where I'm going to put the colour and that will key it up and make sure it's nice and clean. I'm trying not to use all of it because it's only a small bottle. And I have got a few more repairs to make. So, once this is done, the colour can go on. And you do that with uh, a little sponge applicator. And uh, I shall jump forward to that because uh, that's all that stage is, is uh, just rubbing it down. I'm all clean and prepped. I'm waiting now. I've got my dark grey. Comes in a little bottle like that. It's supplied with two bottles. I'll put it on with a sponge. 
I'll just show you that. Yeah, a little sponge was uh, supplied in the kit. There are two little sponges. And you meant to dab it on so it doesn't cover very well straight away. So I'm trying to go over the major repairs first, I think. And uh, although the whole seat has got to be covered, it looks a little darker than the actual uh, leather that was on there. But I'm sure it'll lighten up a little bit as I put the uh, the top coat on. Because once this is done, I'll probably do two, three coats of this just to get the colour right across the seat. And uh, once that's done, then you decide whether you want a gloss finish or whether you want a matte finish or a mixture of the both. Um, both got a, a matte and a gloss that you can put over the top. You can mix the two together so you don't get such a shine. Um, the finish in this Range Rover is a bit on the dull side, so I'll probably use the, the matte and uh, we'll see how that comes out. I'll skip forward to the end of this so that you can see after it's uh, all coloured. It takes quite a while dabbing it like this. Yeah, this is after the first coat. Nearly finished the first coat on there. And uh, it's not looking too bad. Looks a damn sight better than uh, two splits in the seat. So, it's still drying. You can see that where it's been dabbed, it's a bit on the bubbly side. It uh, seems to be colouring quite well. It's matched up to the rest of it reasonably well. Still a little bit on the dark side. But uh, I think it's going to come out okay. For what I need, anyway. It's not going to be 100%. Because the, it was a massive repair. Well, I'll skip forward to the next coat. And uh, see how we come out. And uh, now I've got the matte finish. And a little applicator sponge. And... Uh, I'm just going to go over that with the matte finish. That should lighten it up a little bit and give me slightly better colour. And uh, I'm not sure on this one. It just says to uh, apply it with the sponge. It doesn't say to dab it. Although I started dabbing it and didn't seem to do the job. I ended up wiping it across it. And that seemed to do a better job. Again, I've been very sparing with it because I need some for the other repairs that I'm doing. Hopefully they'll look slightly better than this. As I said, this is my first attempt. So I think it's uh, it's coming out quite nice. And as you can see, it's lightening the colour slightly as it's going on, which is making it a better match for the rest of the interior. Looks a lot better than, than a big hole, that's all I can see. And uh, leave that until it's dry. I'll show you the finished result. Right, it's the next day. That is what we've got. Just a little bit here in the seam. Doesn't look right. But the colour has come out reasonably well. It's come out to match the rest of the car. It's not too bad. And of course, it hasn't got two great rips in the seat which to me is a plus so not the best job in the world but uh, yeah, as I said it's a learning curve probably do a better job of the next one I have got this one here which I filled on the back of the seat 
and over on the other side on there got a small rip on there which I've got to do that shouldn't be too bad anyway hope you've enjoyed this uh, it's been a bit of a learning curve for me and hopefully you can glean something from this thank you for watching uh, if you've enjoyed this please like or subscribe uh, leave a comment down below and uh, I shall see you next time. Bye now.